What's Poppin' Rams? I'm Krista McAllister, and I'm back once again to keep you updated on this week's entertainment news and to let you know what spicy events we have coming up. So let's get started. Are you lacking creative inspiration in your life? The Fort Collins Artist Studio Tour and Sale will fix this problem. Starting at the Carnegie Center for Creativity, art lovers can begin their walk around town to visit the artists located all over Fort Collins. As you visit the individual studios on this free self-guided tour, you will get to meet the artists and learn more about their creative processes. Visitors can look at and purchase original pieces of art, ranging from pottery and jewelry to photographs and paintings. This event starts tomorrow from 4 to 7 in the evening, and it goes until Sunday with varying times for each day. You can find a map of all the participating artist workshops online. What's the one thing that airplanes and chickens have in common? The wing stop. This Dallas-based, aviation-themed chicken wing chain is coming soon to Old Town. This restaurant will be opening in less than a month on November 11th at The Exchange. And as soon as it opens, don't be a chicken and go ahead and try all of their wide variety of wings. Most people know about the aspen trees that take over Colorado. However, most people don't know about the aspen we have in our very own student center, the Aspen Grill. Since they opened for the semester just over a week ago, this unique restaurant has been working hard to serve the people <coughs> of CSU and the Fort Collins community. The grill is special to our university because it is operated by the students. So the various positions um, in the front of the house, so um, you know, we have servers, we have bartenders in the kitchen, um, there's a, a salad cook, saute, grill, a mid position who's sort of in charge of all the line cooks. It's hard to do these positions. The students in the hospitality management program work in the restaurant for four days a week where they earn class credit instead of a paycheck. The best skills are learning how to adapt, learning how to manage, and most importantly, learning how to work as a team. The Aspen Grill strives to embody what Fort Collins means to them. They partner with local breweries, they use locally sourced ingredients, and they prepare special menus to celebrate different groups throughout the year. In November, uh, we'll be doing the Native American um, Heritage Month specials. Those are amazing days here because it's a three-course menu um, that we, again, we create here in coordination with them, celebrating ingredients that are really important um, to them. This restaurant is moving towards a reservation-only system, but they are looking to serve anyone and everyone who wants to hang out and eat some good food. The Aspen Grill is located on the third floor of the Lori Student Center, and the students will be happy to serve you from Tuesday through Friday from 11 in the morning to about 1.15 in the afternoon. In the words of Leslie Nope, you won't believe how nice all of our vendors are. And just like in Parks and Recreation, Fort Collins also has an awesome farmer's market. Northern Colorado's oldest market is open every Saturday from 9 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon in the Larimer County Courthouse parking lot. They are only open this season until, about, until October 26th, but until then, vendors will be selling flowers, baked goods, meats, fruits, vegetables, and so much more. So turn up your excitement for this event. I personally miss tea times from my childhood, but luckily, the Koo Cha House of Tea offers tea tastings on Saturday. From 1 to 3 in the afternoon, they will be doing special tastings in the Chinese Gong Fu style, sampling teas such as rock oolong teas and shade-grown green teas. And you can feel real bougie while sipping on these premium drinks. Oh, it's like he got X Games mode! The Exchange in Fort Collins is hosting their own X Games from this Saturday from 12 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Participants will go around to the different businesses at the Exchange and do their best in competitions like no hands donut bobbing, hula hooping, and a rubber chicken toss. Prizes will be rewarded throughout the day and it is only $5 to $10 to participate. 
Basketball Rams, that's all the time we have for tonight. So make sure you have a great weekend and then tune in on Monday for another sports show. In the meantime, I'm Kristen McAllister. Have a great night.